What's up guys, David here. Today I'm going to show you how to put interior walls inside of your Revit project. So this is a very easy task and it's just like the exterior walls, but you're just going to use an interior wall instead. So usually what I always use is a interior four and a half partition wall. And you just click on that and then it's just the same as exterior walls. You just drag, click and drag wherever you want to put your wall. So I have a design here that I already drew up and I'm just going to roughly make that real fast. You can see it click and drag just as you would exterior walls. So now I have my basic design, and as you can see, there are a few problems with it, such as right here. You'll see that the interior wall doesn't line up with the exterior wall. Now to fix that, all we have to do is click on that interior wall, and then find this tool right here. It's called the Align Tool. And then we're going to want to align both of these edges. So what you want to do is click the one that you want to stay. So we want to get this outside of this one that we want to stay, so I have to click Tab to select the outside. Then I'm going to click Tab and select the outside of this interior one. And then as you can see, it moved the interior one, but left our exterior wall the same. So also, that happens right up here. I'll show you again. You want to click Tab because we want to select this inside part of the wall. And then Tab once again, so we select this. And as you can see, it flattens out that wall. Now I can do it with this one here too. And just, you always want to click the one you want to stay the same first. So tab here, I want this wall to stay the same. And tab here, and now this is lined. Now, for annotating interior walls, once again, you should watch my how to annotate video. It will explain it much better, but I'll quickly go over that again. So you're going to go to annotate aligned. And then from if you're going from an exterior wall to an interior wall, like right here, you want to go from the inside of the exterior wall to the middle of the interior wall. And then if you're going from an interior wall to an interior wall, such as right here, you're going to want to go from the middle to the middle. And I'll show you both those once again. Right here we're going from an exterior wall to an interior wall. So you want to go from the inside of the exterior wall. So I'll click tab, select that, and then the middle of the interior wall. And click. And then also right here I want the interior wall to interior wall. So you go middle to middle. Now I'm just going to go ahead and annotate all this and speed the video up and I will show you what it looks like when I'm done. Okay now I am back and as you can see I have annotated all my walls so they're all nice numbers and I have all the dimensions that I need. If this video helped you out please give me a thumbs up it really helps me out. Please subscribe for more. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video.